welcome to the Sandbrick Adventures! Right, it's time for the start of a brand new cruise series on our channel. Now before we get into this one and share with you what we're going to be getting up to, just want to talk a little bit about us and cruises. We did our first one last year, didn't we? We did the Carnival Mardi Gras and we fell in love with cruising. We really didn't want to get off that ship. Oh, it was a brilliant experience. So we thought, you know what, we want to do more cruises in the long term, take you along on these adventures. So we booked another one for February 2024 and this one is our first ever Disney cruise. We're going to be sailing on the Disney Dream on a five night Western Caribbean cruise and we just can't wait for it. We are so excited, like seeing all the characters, the shows, it's going to be really magical. Now we're going to film as much as we can do and take you along for the full experience. Five nights and we're starting off where we're boarding our cruise ship in Fort Lauderdale, Florida and uh, yeah we're looking forward to getting on the ship this afternoon. Oh we've got our like, arrival time which is 2.15 to 2.30. They always say make sure you stick to your arrival time um, for getting down there so we will be. We've got a couple of hours to go and then we're going to be boarding onto the ship. Cannot wait for it to have a look around, see it all, capture the experience and of course get into our room. We've just booked a standard inside stateroom but it looks really nice doesn't it? It looks quite spacious in there. We've got like a little sofa and there's a bath, which is really exciting. You've got like a magic portal as well. We're going to see it all and take you for a full tour in this video. And then, of course, we've got all the other days of adventure, haven't we? So the day after we take away from the port, we are going to be having a day at sea so we can explore the full ship and what it has to offer. Day three, we're going to be going to Kazumal in Mexico, I think. I'm saying that right. Yeah, it's something like that, isn't it? But uh, we're looking forward to that, aren't we? We are. I'm looking forward to seeing Mexico. Then after that, we've got another day at sea, and then we're going to be going to Castaway Key, and we're so excited. So that's Disney's private island. I've wanted to go there for a long time, especially because I've visited all the Disney theme parks around the world. Always wanted to go to their private island, so we cannot wait for that. Um, yes, come and join us. We're just in our hotel at the moment, which is here in Fort Lauderdale, and we had a good little tour around actually yesterday. Uh, so we're feeling nice and fresh. We had a around the beach, we're on a nice little boat trip around here and check out that vlog prior to this one. But uh, anyway, we're just gonna go and get an Uber shortly, make our way um, down there to the Disney Cruise Line port and uh, we'll talk about our full experience. It's gonna be an amazing five days, it really is, and I cannot wait for it all. So there we go. So these are our Disney luggage tags. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach these to our big case. Then when we get to the port, we can drop our case off and then it'll be delivered directly to our room, which is really good because we did all the checking online. Then we got this pack sent to our house and it's just got all the details that we've got for the cruise. It was really exciting it getting was. this through the post. Like This is really nice. It's got all our details, the luggage tags in there and uh, the itinerary for the trip. Yeah, how nice that that got sent out to us. And yeah, I do like the little uh, themed luggage tags and even your case is on theme down I there know, as well. everything's on theme. <laughs> Cannot wait for the sail away. So yeah, we're going to just go and get a little bit of food around here by the hotel and then we'll get an Uber down to the port. I'm hoping because we've done all the online checking and everything, it should be quite a simple process. We should literally just check in, probably get our little cards, cruise cards and then be straight on. Fantastic. Right, let's go and we'll see you down there at the Disney Cruise Terminal. So we've just been dropped off in the Uber and here we are down at the Disney Cruise Terminal in Fort Lauderdale. And there she is, the beautiful Disney dream. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this. Isn't she massive? Like, it's I big. I did not expect it to be this big, it's huge. Well, I'm so excited for this. Yeah, literally we came out of the Uber and then they took our case off us, which is gonna be checked all the way through to our cabin. So yeah, that's the next time we'll see it. And now we're gonna go and get checked in, sort everything out. I mean, we did the online kind of pre-checking, but you're still gonna go to someone and um, sort things out. Oh, here she is. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping about, oh, this is going to be great. But yeah, look at that. She's a beauty. Well, I've been waiting about 10 minutes in the queue so far. Some nice murals down here, including this one of Steamboat Willie, 1928. Just on there. Some nice Disney music as well to get us in the mood. There's Sailor Mickey Mouse on the flags just here. Been waiting about another five minutes, about 15 in total. And now we're into the big queue, just inside here. Security area and presenting everything that we need. We waited about 15 minutes in total and then we was called over to the desk and we was there literally two minutes. Very efficient, very friendly and we're all sorted. We haven't got our cruise cards yet. We just scan like, the checking QR code. So I reckon the cruise card will be in the room, do you think? Yeah, I think it was the same with the Mardi Gras. I'm sure that it was like in the door when we went in, so we'll see. And here we go, I'm having our picture. And we're gonna be making our way on. We also went through the security area just over there too. Making our way through. And that was nice and easy as well. Nice photo opportunities. 
Do us take professional photos before you get on the ship? Oh, it's great, they're so excited. I feel like a kid again. Just had the photo taken, here we go, it's time to board. Make our way through Mickey just here to the ship. Bon voyage. Thank you. Where magic meets the sea. Hey, over the bridge we go. Onto the gorgeous Disney Dream. Oh, it's much bigger than I was expecting, actually. Love the colour scheme as well. Iconic. Trying to spot our case down there. <laughs> Love the big Disney cruise line just over there. That's the sign that we saw when we was on that little boat yesterday. Wow. <laughs> oh, I love that. What a nice personal touch. Hey! Oh, how magical was that? Goofy at the top, meeting family and friends. Oh, I love this. How oh, nice was that? Oh. Disney Dream, please welcome Work the Bones family. I love how they just ask for your name and do that there. Oh, that's lovely. Look at this in here. It's beautiful as well. Wow. Wow, how beautiful is this? I cannot wait to have a good explore around the Disney Dream. This personal welcome as you come on is so special. Uh, how amazing was that? Oh yeah! So many shows and character interactions. And of course we've got the Marvel Day at Sea to look forward to as well. This is quite something. Look at that chandelier. What a magical experience so far, stepping here onto the Disney Dream for the first time. And we just made our way to our interior stateroom. So we'll give you a tour around the cabin in just a moment. Just wanted to talk though about the process getting onto the ship. It's nice and easy and very efficient, wasn't it? Yeah, like the queue was quite long on the inside bit and the outside bit, but it did move quite fast. They had a lot of people checking you in and security, which was great. It's about 15 minutes in total. And because we'd done all the kind of pre-checking information all online, things like your passport details and your visa and all that, and we've done all that in advance online so it was at the desk a couple of minutes if that and we were straight on through the security area and boarding onto the ship what really made it special for me was stepping on into that beautiful atrium seeing the chandelier and just having them say our name i thought that was a really nice story that is such a personalized welcome and they do that for every single party that's coming on which is great and then you've got like all the cast members at the side kind of clapping. clapping and like <laughs> waving you on then seeing our first character up there as well so many characters that we're going to see during our five night cruise but yeah we've just booked the standard inside cabin and I've got to say this stateroom looks really nice doesn't I it? I am really impressed with this. We've got so much that we're going to show you in all the different vlogs that are going to be coming up but we'll start off with a bit of a tour around the room. Oh I'm loving the Disney music playing in the corridor it's got a bit of Aladdin oh it's so magical nice carpet down here too and there's going to be so many little details to see all the way around this ship. I love how people put stickers and bags and all that sort of thing on the doors. Like, how cool is that? I saw one, it was like covered from top to bottom. I love that. <laughs> and here we are, 7023. Nice door, yeah. like the features on there. I don't know if you have any like letters and our keys were literally waiting for us. Just there behind the fish, which is quite a nice little touch. Our case hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, so yeah, I'm sure it'll be here soon. Look at this. I mean, we haven't got much to compare it to cruise-wise, because you've got to think, we've only done uh, one cruise prior to this, and that was the Carnival Mardi Gras. Straight away, this is much bigger. I mean, look how spacious this is for us here. I think that's the thing, because when we was on the Mardi Gras, the bed was a lot like closer, because we've got the TV, and we didn't have the sofa, which is great. Yeah, that looks like it also turns into a bed down there too, like a little pull-down. Yeah, it's got all bedding behind. It. I've got to say though, I'm impressed with this so far in here. Oh, uh, this is perfect for, for a party of two like us. It's this is perfect, great. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to start off straight away by talking about this. Obviously, we've not got a balcony or a real window or anything. What we have got is the magic little porthole at the back, and that's basically a TV screen. And uh, yeah, it's like a live feed of the outside. So that's really cool. Uh, I like how you've got that as a little feature. And also, I believe it's quite magical because the characters like sometimes appear on there. Oh, and... We see the characters. I'm like, oh my god, look at it. <laughs> It would have been a good time if we wanted to come on there now, was. wouldn't it? Um, yeah, that's really nice. I do love that. Uh, and then, of course, you got the bed just over here, which is nice. Nice big bed, which is great. Yeah, it's a good size for us. I like the details on there. All the colour scheme of it's fantastic. Underneath, you got the storage. So when we have emptied the case, and um, we've got all that area just down there, which is great. Telephone off to the side, and some little storage 
just there too, which is great. And that telephone will probably come in very handy, won't it? Yeah, so when you do a Disney cruise, you do get 24 hour room service included. So you just call them up, be like, I want this. And then the oh, 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 oh what was that? I, I don't know what that no, was. No, sorry, that was scary, that was. Like, that wasn't magical. What, is, what? Oh, <laughs> what was it? What is it? That must be just someone walking in front of the camera. Like, <laughs> maybe that. Uh, oh, let's see if it comes again. Oh, that was funny, that. It was like, it was going vroom. Uh, across the side. What was that? <laughs> so you get your 24 hour yeah, room you service. Cut off then. Yeah, so you get 24 hour room service. You just have to call them up and then they'll bring the food to your cabin. Yeah, and we'll go through all that and definitely do we it at some to. point. So, of course, stay tuned to the full series. We'll be covering everything that we can. This is nice over here. I like the lights. And you can see it's also got other Disney cruise ships on there and the Disney parks around the world. You can see the castles all on there. That's a really nice touch. Let's so spin it round. There we go, like Disneyland Paris just over there, the Asia Parks, America. Like that is fantastic. What a nice little touch over there. We've got this picture on the wall showing some of the other ships there too. That's fantastic. And uh, yeah, I like the fact you've got this curtain here behind you there. You shut it on the night. Yes, that kind of comes across and you can kind of close it and make it a bit more cosy. That was so funny, that one. It was. <laughs> I, I love little moments like that though. When we're recording, you just don't know what to expect. You know, I'm half expecting to get cut off by an announcement in a minute from the cruise yeah. director. Uh, this is nice over here. Lots of like little touches and small details. And that's the thing with coming on a Disney cruise. Of course, we're huge, big Disney fans ourselves. I cannot wait to just see all the little like nods to the parks and all that kind of stuff <laughs> and of course castaway key uh, that door is just connecting into another cabin obviously you keep that locked because we haven't got two cabins just the one then you got this storage area over here a desk this is quite nice isn't it just want to point out you do get a hair dryer as well I haven't bought mine. I was like, oh my God, I hope there's a headline. <laughs> and there is, there is one there. TV is just there. You can get all your information and that sort of stuff. Not a huge TV, but just a nice size. And I reckon that spins, does it? There we go. So you can have it facing the bed or facing the sofa. Just there. Not like we're going to watch him much TV, to be honest, because uh, we're going to be out exploring. Refrigerator just in there. Oh, I can't open it. Can you, uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Got a nice little mini fridge, Good size. Uh, which is handy. What's this little drawer here? Oh, I like that little Mickey oh, on there. Oh, oh, is that the... Ah, that's ah. got all the information in. There we go. Oh, no, it's all numbers and stuff. Yeah, that's quite oh, interesting. That's quite cool. You and then it's got your envelopes and breakfast stuff. That's cool. Oh, I love the pen. That's nice, isn't it? And there's new cruise line. That looks wow. good. Like little notes and stuff. So you can write a note to the person looking after your room, yeah. like to the cast member. Hey, Mickey, Mickey, oh, Mickey. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> like steamboat me. Hey! I like the excitement there. Literally, we're more excited than half the kids you've seen. Hey! Oh, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that was cool. Literally, I love that. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey! <laughs> what about poor Minnie? Like? I know, well, Minnie's there. Yeah. Mickey? We're at the sailor party soon. Oh, I can't wait. Then you'll be like, Mickey, Mickey, I'll be Mickey! <laughs> Oh, more storage over here as well. Loads of storage. Yeah, three drawers. That's where your air dryer is. And then we've got yeah. our cards just there as well. The little cruise cards that we've got. And they were literally waiting for us just on the outside. You need them with you at all times. I also think this is a really good idea for straighteners and hair dryers. You get a little heat proof mat to put your stuff on. That's good. Now, if you are bringing a hair dryer or straighteners, please be aware they might not work like they are in the UK. <laughs> I have to bring some. They've got to be dual voltage. There we go. We know that now. We know that now. These are quite nice, little water cups down here. As you can see, they've got those on top, which is fantastic. And more storage is down the side. Look at the uh, the lights just up here. You've got the little, uh, yeah, the little Mickeys just on there too, which is fantastic. These for storage just up here as well. And then we've got the main storage area. It's over here, Charlotte's going in the bathroom. We've got the main storage area just around at this side. And of course you've got your uh, life jackets just up there as well. You do need to go to a uh, like a muster station and we're gonna be doing that shortly and that's uh, mandatory, which is, gives you all the information of course, just in case of an emergency. We've got some little steps just in there. Not too sure what they're for. Maybe the other bed that pulls down maybe, out from the ceiling possibly. And you've got the storage off to the side. I'm just shutting you in there a sec, Charlotte. Oh, I'm in. I'm just gonna get the storage in down here. There we go. You've got the safe just over there and all this area off to the left. Plenty of coat hangers because there was some in there as well. More life vests up there too. And yeah, they're actually in the room here. When we was on the Mardi Gras, they weren't in the room. We had to go somewhere else first, or at least it, we thought that. Anyway, you couldn't find them anywhere, so I reckon that was the case. Yeah, saves pretty good. And that's looking fantastic. Right into the bathroom now, just over here. 
Where's Charlotte? Where is she? She's down here. Well, we've got a bath. I appreciate that we've got a bath, but who's fitting in this? <laughs> I can't believe how small it is. Hey, it's a bath though. You can have a soak, can't you? Yeah, and like swish around as we're moving. I think for me though, I'd rather be like in the pools or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you know? I'll just have like a shower. <laughs> this is nice though. Like, oh, look at these just over here. Sea Marine, Sea oh, Salt, the there you go, like shampoo, all Disney Cruise Line branded, I like that. All the colours in here as well, all matches nicely. Shower curtain that comes across, <laughs> that's in the shape of Mickey as well. I like all them small touches, you know, Towns like that. got Mickey on there. That's nice, we've got Ariel just over there as well. There's the toilet, quite spacious area actually in here, I think that's alright to be honest. Um, yeah, having your toilet kind of on the side. Then you've got the basin just over there too, that looks a bit kind of bland doesn't it, you know, it's not really the nicest to look at, Mickey is it? No, that, that, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? Like, what about Mickey soap? You know, if you do that, does it come out of Mickey soap? No, it doesn't. We're not in Tokyo, no. <laughs> but uh, that's nice. I like all these flannels, more storage, just stuff like this comes in really handy. Little makeup bags, just there, flannel, is it's it? It's a flannel to take your makeup off, I believe. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, all the towels have got the Disney Cruise logo on as well, which is good. And there is actually some more storage and also a trash can just down there as well to put your uh, your trash in, but that's the room, it's nice. I'm really pleased with it. Yeah, I'm pleased with it too, it's very spacious. It's got loads of room for us, like this seating area over here is fab. Because I think for me, I'll just sit here, relax, and wait for Mickey, Mickey, Mickey to come on. Mickey, 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 it was all that excitement. There is a chair there at the desk too, yeah. another trash can down there, and this small table. <laughs> Three. Overall though, I think this is fantastic, it's really nice. I like the small little Disney touches, like, you know, just seeing like, Mickey on the side of the lights oh, and yeah. you know, like, little things like that. Yeah, I reckon this is the bed as well that pulls down and that's why there's the steps. Maybe that's, so. That's what I'm thinking, like, obviously we've not had it set up like that. But, think, but it comes like a, a bunk bed, because there's something behind here. That's what I'm thinking. that's just the bed, in. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, I think that's what it is and that's yeah. why there's steps inside there. Oh, yes, for yeah. a bunk Oh, bed. who's that? Who's oh, yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> They're not characters, you're right there. I, I love having this. But that's the thing for me, like, you don't need to have a window, do you? No, like, you don't, you know. because you can see outside. That's what we saw earlier then, it was that... Ah, coming like past. The cherry picker. So it was thing. like somebody cleaning or something like that, which was uh, quite Hold funny. On, is that the boat that we was on? No, no, it's a slightly different oh. one. Yeah, we, but we, we kind of yesterday we saw like the the Jungle Queen, the Jungle didn't Queen. we? Jungle Queen, I thought uh, that was it then. We was on that, and we think, oh, we're going to see it at some point. <laughs> of course, when we're departing, I reckon they're just cleaning up on the outside. Oh, we're getting a good close-up. I love this though, because it's like when we wake up in them places, you can, turn, can turn that on and, on and see. Oh, it. oh, oh, <laughs> coming past there. Oh, I love that. Well, there we go, I think that's all the details. It's very nice and I cannot wait to have more and explore. So what's coming up next? We're going to go to the, the muster station, aren't we next? We are, so we are going to do all that information. I think we've got to do that after the sail away party, I believe. Oh, okay, yeah. I think I need to look at the time. Yeah, to make sure. oh, that's interesting, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember the full timing, so what yeah. we'll do is I'll double check the timings and then we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, and then we've got the uh, the sail away to look forward to. I'm looking forward to that. I'll oh. be dancing with Mickey. <laughs> it's going to be great. Well, yeah, what a lovely room this is. Like, fantastic and very spacious considering it's the cheapest way of getting on board a Disney Cruise Liner. Now it tells us on the back of the door here uh, that we are Assembly Station H. We've got to go now to the mandatory safety briefing before we set sail. You can see we've got to go downstairs onto deck four and then it's kind of midship just there for where our assembly station is. So yeah, we'll go and do that now. So it was about 10 minutes down there on deck four. We've had our mandatory safety briefing and they were showing us basically just how to put our life jacket on if we need it. And now it's time to sail away. So we made our way right up here to deck number 11 for the sail away party. Everyone's gathering. We're actually standing on deck 12, one level up to get a nice aerial view. Are you ready, Charlotte? Ready. Hey, let our Disney vacation begin. First 
Cruz, that's us. Yes, hey! Charles got his on as well, over there. Characters, Mickey Mouse and friends, and the music as well. It's so like classic Disney, I love it. Wow. <laughs> Mickey on the beach. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait for Castaway. We've got so much to see and enjoy.
Disney magic. Proper Disney magic. So magical. Hey, there goes the aqueduct. Can't wait to ride that. The water slide that goes around the edge of the ship. <laughs> Aqueduct, really excited for that. And here's Charlotte enjoying the sail away party there. Oh, that was so much fun. Mickey Mouse was there and all the candy was great. I've watched so many videos over the years of the sail away party. It was so good. <laughs> oh, amazing. And it felt like a proper Disney nostalgia, didn't it? I loved the music. It was so sweet. The videos, oh, everything was really good. And it was really good how they actually had an area for the kids as well, wasn't it? On the ground. Yeah, so at the front, the kids could all sit down and then they all got up to dance. Yeah, I thought that was fantastic. Really well done. And I'm looking forward to getting on this. The Aqueduct, I'll be getting on there tomorrow and making the most of it. I've heard that a night ride is really good on there as well. Yeah, you've got like all lighting all around the side. We've got so much to see, we really have. Like, it's going to be amazing. And we are going to be setting off in just a few moments, which is going to be awesome. And there's a look at a couple of other ships that are in today. You've got the Celebrity Beyond and the Royal Caribbean. Liberty of the Seas just over there off to the right hand side and yeah this is where we came on that little boat trip that we did yesterday in Fort Lauderdale. I've actually got a mini golf course all the way down here at the back so we'll definitely be having a go at that won't we? <laughs> it looks quite well themed as well which is good. Yeah it looks fantastic. There's a look down at the huge Disney Cruise Terminal as well and I do like how you've got the clock just on the side there too with the Disney Cruise Line logo. It's massive. I've seen so many people over the years having photos right here. Oh, I love it to see Mickey Mouse up there on the chimney stack and all the lighting as well. Can't wait to see it all at night up here. There goes the aqueduct. <laughs> Brilliant. Can't wait to ride it. Oh, we just made our way back here into our stateroom. Hello there. Oh, this is great. I love it. It looks like it's raining outside. It's not, but uh, yeah, that's the effect just oh, on there. That's it's it. Just and he's off. off. Oh, I love that. That's really cool. <laughs> now, of course, we had a little look around there um, on the top deck. We had the awesome sail away party. We just come back to our room now, but uh, we haven't got our case yet, have we? <laughs> we got our back. Well, we was a bit concerned, thinking, oh, what's going to happen? So I called up and I spoke to a nice lady at guest services who was called Charlotte, and she was also from the UK. And she was like, don't worry. She was like, she spoke to somebody and they're going to try and locate it but if not just call them and we just spoke to housekeeper so i think it will be arriving soon yeah we spoke to our lovely like room attendant who's looking after us here they're so friendly really welcoming Hello. as you'd expect um with all cat disney cast members um yeah he was really good he didn't sound too concerned he was like yeah they're still loading them on well, so because i went to the washroom around the corner and he chased me down the corner he was like charlotte I was like, what? <laughs> you know who i am Oh, I love that. Like, really and, nice, and on yeah. the phone as well, they knew, like, straight away it was yeah. our room. Just by calling, I didn't have to give a room number. And she was like, Is it Charlotte? I'm also Charlotte. And I was like, I love it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, in terms of like wash facilities, you just found it around the corner. Yeah, so, literally, a few doors down from where we are, they've got like a self serve wash. So, you can do your own washing, your own like dryer, and irons. And it's like $3 a wash, $3 a dryer. That's really good. Yeah, that's decent, that is. Maybe just having a look on the. Yeah, we might. But if we have any clothes, we'll find out. This is all I've got. It's so. all right, because I can wash the <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you could do you got all sorts of uh disney movies on here like look at this you got a full selection let me just uh, try and take that back oh there we go nice uh, shot of the ship disney on demand ship videos and movies there we go let's get that onto there you can see animated disney nature uh pixar live action marvel star wars disney channel yeah loads on there Unlimited. It's basically like having Disney Plus, isn't it, on your uh, on your cruise ship, similar kind of style. With that, just there, fantastic. We hope. I'm sure the case will be here soon. I'm gonna give it another check. Yeah, I'm not yeah, too worried. Yeah. Just 
here. Yeah, it's like next door. They literally had one arrive like five minutes ago. So yeah, I'm not too worried yet. It will arrive. Look at all their stickers. Not just yet, I know. <laughs> yeah, but we've seen some and it's like top to bottom. That's like, a good one. Where's our sticker? Oh, you can sign it to say hello. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Well, where's the sticker? I've got a sticker. Yeah, so do we like, we'll take a sticker. It was like, get free sticker, so I've got it for lots, so. <laughs> that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Now, of course, a big part of coming on the cruise is food. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that now, what's going to be coming up. We've not actually sailed away quite yet either, but I'm sure we will be soon. I really enjoyed the sail away party though. Like, I've seen so many videos of it over the years. Just to be there and be part of it was awesome, wasn't it? It was all dancing with Mickey and Minnie and friends. It was brilliant. Really enjoyed that. Proper nostalgia as well. All the music and oh, it was so good. Now, yes, food, a big part of the experience on here. And how it works is you've got rotational dining on here, haven't you? Yes, so what it is, there is three main restaurants and you'll rotate throughout your cruise to each of them. So tonight we're going to Royal Palace. And yeah, because of course they've got three of those and we're on here for five nights, a couple of them we'll go to twice, won't we? You repeat them, but it's a different menu each night, so it's not like the same menu at each one, it'll be different. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, tonight we're at the Royal Palace. Royal tonight, Palace. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Of course, lots of different interactions and experiences, really nice. different theming, very different for us. We don't normally do kind of big like sit down dinners and stuff like that, uh, but we're on a Disney cruise, big part of that experience. And uh, it's all paid for and included in the cost. Like Charlotte said, you've also got the room service which is 24 hours uh, and then also we've got lots of other food options including a big buffet isn't there as well yes yeah, so there's a big buffet and then also around the ship like on the top you've got like the little food stands so they'll have different menus throughout the day we saw like uh, Flo's V8 cafe yeah. up there doing like each classic kind of chicken tenders and fries pizzas, and pizzas. there's like unlimited ice cream and oh. also in terms of drinks now of course you can get like a drinks package for alcohol if you want to uh, we're not gonna do that if you want a couple of cocktails or a beer we'll just kind of buy them uh, and add them to our accounts instead of like a drinks package because we're not like heavy alcohol we're drinkers not, are no. we really but, but what is good soft drinks are included yes so that's fantastic uh literally you can go around the ship you've got water that you get Amazing. like tea and coffees and stuff and then also you've literally got like the soda machines just there have as much as you want to during your cruise so obviously that's different to us because when we was on the mardi gras you had to pay for a soft drinks package if you wanted that uh, it wasn't much it was like ten dollars a day or something but it adds up up. on here that's factored into the price so that's the thing of course a Disney cruise is more expensive and at the end of this in the last vlog we'll go over the cost of everything how much we paid how much we, we've kind of think we've made during it you know in terms of um, you know have we made our money back Do we feel yeah. like we've had value from it um, we'll be very honest as always and, and share our thoughts on that because it is a more expensive it cruise is. line compared to others are we gonna feel like we've had our money back you know have we had our money's worth from this experience but so far I'm really enjoying it I just hope that we get a case oh, no. <laughs> now of course we've got loads of entertainment and going back to the dining again with it being uh, like rotational you actually get two different sit-ins you got an earlier sit-in which is at like 5 15 yeah i think it's about 5 15 5 30 but we're on the later sit-in and that is about quarter past eight yeah so that means that like your big show of the night um you'll either watch it before dinner or after dinner because we're on the later sitting we're going to be watching the big show before dinner um and then of course going out there i was hoping to put me mickey mouse oh, no, shirt and dress up a bit like but this. yeah we might have to at this point because we've got like just under an hour to go until the theater show starts and i've been told to get there early so we'll probably head down there soon i don't know what we're going to be able to film i'm pretty Pretty sure you're not allowed to take videos of the shows you might be able to take photos so if you can i'll overlay them in uh, of course all like the deck parties and outside entertainment film. characters you can take photos videos that sort of thing but as these are like Broadway shows, uh, like West End Spectaculars, don't think they allow you to film them, which is completely understandable. Um, just so it doesn't kind of spoil the uh, atmosphere around with everybody having, you know, phones and, and everything in the air. So uh, we're looking forward to that. So much to see, so much to do. Uh, and yeah, can't wait for it tonight. It's going to be great. Oh, it's beautiful, this ship. Cannot wait to have a good explore around. Look at all the pictures on the wall, the carpets. It's very nice. A little bit of Frozen. Come on, let's go. So making our way down to the Walt Disney Theatre. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Looking forward to seeing that atrium in a bit more detail as well. Oh, look at this, some great pictures of Walt Disney. If we stand just here, you got the moving pictures. Oh, that's really magical, I love that. Great pictures of Walt. All the camera equipment just there. And we've got this statue of Mickey Mouse just over here too. Wow. Hello. Hello. <laughs> wow, that is gorgeous. Very nicely finished off, isn't oh, it? Lovely. And here's the entrance to 
the Walt Disney Theatre does, as you can see with the first ones here, it's about, what, 45 minutes to go until the show. We were told, oh, you know, you're best coming down here early, but there we go, maybe not quite this early. We'll have a look in the <laughs> Well, we thought let's come down here, you know, and have a little look. Yeah, we're going to be watching the Golden Mickeys, a timeless tribute. But yeah, it does say down there, of course, use of flash photography or videotaping is prohibited. So yeah, we're not going to be able to film it. You can see like, all the different entertainments. It does sound like you can take photos, though, just not flash photography. So I will take a few pictures if that's allowed and overlay them in. Yeah, we'll pop back in a few minutes. Been a huge Disney fan, just seeing all these pictures of walls around the ship. Very special. That is stunning. I'm loving the design. Feels very classy. It's like it's shark. nice. Oh. It's <laughs> Here's all your shots. So much to see. Yeah, it's a massive ship. Yes. Bigger than I was expecting. There we go. So you've got forward, midship, and the back just there. And it lists here what's on each level. As you can see, you've got the Walt Disney Theatre, the different restaurants. Animators palettes down here as well. Oh, this is great. What are you peeking oh, around? I can smell popcorn. Can get in this way because I think it's the up upstairs level. Upstairs. Ah, I see. So we'll go in this way. Another entrance in. Look at all the lighting. <laughs> it's closed. Is it? Oh, I'll have to come back. I'm sure it'll be open later on. <laughs> Mickey's main sale. <laughs> oh, look at this in here. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. It's closed. You think that'd be open, wouldn't it? Yeah, that looks good. Wow. Oh, I'm loving the design of this ship already. How nice is this? Ah, oh, yeah, that was like kind of like a side entrance to the theatre upstairs. Beautiful picture of Walt Disney. The Golden Mickeys. Diamonds and wishes. Just over there. Lots of shots. Yeah, maybe they're about to open then shortly. And I'll be the first one in. Like. Ready for everybody to come out of the theatre, I think. This is nice. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Charlotte's loving it. Oh, this is nice. You do not feel like you're on a cruise ship, do you? That when you come on these. Guest service is just down there. Oh, and this leads down into that atrium. I see. <laughs> Merch looks good in there. <laughs> I'm loving the music. Guest service is open 24 hours a day. Lots of photo opportunities. Ah, oh, there we go. They've got the different castles just there behind guest services. That's brilliant. And the cruise ships. This is gorgeous. A bit of live music, what a vibe. And that chandelier is spectacular. Mickey Mouse. What a staircase. as well. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Yeah, we still haven't left yet. I'm sure we will do soon. Photo viewing area. It's that photo that we had when we boarded the ship. I'm sure we can view that here and wow. Doing the signatures. <laughs> I love just seeing all the characters around. I like seeing Goofy here when he's pushing that crowd. That was good, yeah. <laughs> nice big windows over here. 
District. The district. I think that's like the adults area, just down in that area, which is good. Yeah, and that's the good thing with this. Of course, lots of families, lots of children on board, which has got a really nice atmosphere. But sometimes you just kind of want to get away from all that as well, don't you? You know. Yeah, it's like some adult-only pools areas and stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's nice how they've got that. There's like a nightclub that's open just for adults as well. Like, yeah, like, yeah, looking forward to that. That's the thing. It's not all kind of aimed at kids and families. You've got a lot for um, adults as well, which is great. But for me, just seeing this, like, it's so surreal. It really is. Bit of Valerie as well. And the restaurant that we're dining in tonight, the Royal Palace, the entrance is just down here on the right hand side. So yeah, I think that's what they're queuing up for as well, down on the ground level. Pluto down there too. And that's why we're going to be dining tonight at 8.15, second sitting. Pluto just casually strolling around us there in his sailor hat. <laughs> Yes, we've got the Marvel Day at Sea, which is coming up tomorrow, so we're looking forward to that. Lots of Marvel characters and entertainment. So we're just waiting now to go into the Walt Disney yeah. Theatre. And yeah, they've got a little bar just over here. And that lovely smell of popcorn as well. Lovely for me anyway. Yes, I hate the smell of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. Yeah, a little bar area just outside the theatre. And then you can take that inside for the show. Hey, the doors open 25 minutes before showtime. Look at this. Oh, this is nice. Wow, what a beautiful theatre. It's got the boxes on the side as well, like the little royal boxes. Wow, look at this. This is nice. Oh, beautiful. So yeah, we're going to sit down, watch the show, and of course, we will see you afterwards. Just got back from the Walt Disney Theatre after watching the Golden Mickeys. The good news is the case has just arrived as well. <laughs> yeah. We'll show you that in just a moment. The show was spectacular. It was just under one hour in length. What a production. I mean, Disney do some amazing shows out there. We've seen a lot on the West End back in London, on Broadway in New York. I've seen some Disney shows and of course in the parks as well. And that was definitely up there, wasn't it? As a really high quality Disney production. I enjoyed that so much. I've got my little Golden Mickey there, which is so <laughs> So cute but what I liked about that show there was a lot of characters in there that you don't normally see so we had like the Hunchback of Notre Dame, Koala Duvel, then we had the princesses and then Mickey came at the end there were so many characters in there which was great. Fantastic storyline as well which I really enjoyed shame we couldn't film or take any photos no. or anything in there but that's understandable that's the same when you go like to watch a show on the West End and stuff isn't it uh, but I thought that was really well done I knew that it was Disney production was going to be high quality and that was brilliant you had like Ariel floating around, Koala I came up from the floor with a car, uh, Rapunzel on the balcony. It was just really well Lots. done. There was lots of pyrotechnics in there as well. Lots of effects, uh, a brilliant production. And we've got two more Broadway style shows to see. One of those is Beauty and the Beast. So I'm excited for that. On top of all the other entertainment and activities that are going on throughout our time here on the Disney Dream. What a way to start our cruise. And I'm just so glad we've come so back to a case. <laughs> I like this sticker. Our bag has actually been inspected by this dog. So we got uh, Garrison and Sloan, the canine team, who checked out the bag just there. There you go. I was like, oh, what's that sticker on there? <laughs> and also, we got another sticker over here. Da -da -da -da! Because tomorrow is our Marvel Day at Sea. Ahoy, Captain. It's the Marvel Day at Sea. That's quite nice. So they come around and put that on the mirror. Uh, that's wonderful. And yeah, we got these just here as well from the show. And basically, it was all confetti at the end. So we thought they're a nice little souvenir with the golden Mickeys. And then we've also got this. See, hey, so this has been made out of the cover that was over the bed just here as well. Oh, sweet dreams. These look nice. Yeah, sweet Dove dreams. Dove milk chocolates. That's like Galaxy, isn't it, Dove? Is it? Oh, yeah, I don't I know. So. Yeah, that looks really nice. So we'll uh, definitely sample those. And then over to the portal, which has changed to like a night mode now. See, I don't think that's a live view. You got like all the stars there wow. and just like a general kind of 
nighttime <laughs> mode that there is on there. But uh, no, what starts our adventure? I'm just happy that the case has come. Uh, it does say actually that your case can arrive up to 6 p.m. So uh, obviously before we went down to the show, that was just before six. Uh, and it obviously arrived whilst we were down there watching what, it. I'm having a bit of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to be making our way for some food soon. Yeah, we're going to dinner service, and of course we'll show you the menu, show you what we have, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that night themed experience. That's it, moving it up. <laughs> <laughs> right, lifting up the baby there onto the sofa. There we go. <laughs> right, we're going to get ready and we will unpack and we'll see you shortly. Oh, and here's my one and only Disney princess. Whee! Looking beautiful tonight there, Charlotte. Ooh. All ready for dinner? I am ready for dinner. <laughs> We've got the water bar because we're just going to go and fill it up. I want to go fill this up with water so I've got one in the room. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, it's so nice. Back up onto deck 11 now, the Lido deck. And yeah, you can just grab one of these cups, fill it with water or soft drinks as many times as you like, included in your cruise cost. Yeah, much quieter around now. That's the thing, it's always quite hectic when you first get on a cruise ship, you know. Everyone's sorting everything out, but yeah, now it's starting to spread out nicely. And look at this evening ambience out here by the pool. Only until 10 o'clock tonight. A little, little yellow slide over there too. Wow. And look at the aqueduct with all the lights on. That's out until 10 p.m. tonight. Oh, I can't wait for that. I've heard a night ride is really good. And look at all the lights around the side. That looks fantastic, that does. Just a nice temperature out here tonight as well. Up on deck 12 just here now. Look at the Mickey Shades pool. Oh, that looks lovely. Yeah, pools are much quieter on an evening, it seems as well. This is nice, you got the Muppets on, on the big screen over there. And they've got loads of Disney movies on throughout the cruise. I love it up here though, at night with all the lighting. How cool is that? Fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> and we have departed now as well, leaving Florida, as we can see over here. There's just something about being up here on the top of a cruise ship that I love at night. Uh, this is great. Of course, we was out here for the sail away earlier on. And we've just seen like the adults only pool and stuff. That looks really nice. Got some hot tubs around there. And some planes. Wow. As we head out into the sea, and of course, full day at sea tomorrow for our Marvel theme day that's coming up. Yeah, this is quite special. Oh, look at that little at night as well. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, here's a lovely shot of Charlotte. Got the hills on as well. You're as tall as me tonight. I know, they're so tall. Ready for our dinner on the Disney Dream tonight. This is a great view. Look at the slides, the entrance to Aqueduct, the pool down there. Gorgeous. This has got a really nice magical feel about it out here tonight. Little pool just over there too. And that was the stage down there where the Sail Away party was. We got pirate night and we got something really exciting. Fireworks one night as well. It's going to be so cool to see fireworks at sea. I've heard they literally launched them off the side of the ship, so that'll be cool. Like, it's like in a few days time. Yeah, that's something really exciting. We've got loads coming up. And much like our vlogs on the Carnival Mardi Gras, each day is going to be so different. Lots of different experiences to see. There's a view back towards Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, I think we only left about 30 minutes ago. So you can just kind of see the skyline in the distance. What is in this building or a name? That is beautiful to see in person, wow. And yeah, the aqueduct goes right through there too. Oh, amazing. All the lighting, that's incredible. Oh, we've got a bar area down here. This looks nice. And yeah, we'll have more of a full tour around the ship tomorrow, showing you all the different areas. Family zone. Yeah, there's another little pool just over there. That one's all closed up on an evening as we can see so yeah that'll be back open in the daytime pool bar just down there very nice yeah that pool's open nobody in it evening's great for doing the pools of course the ones that are open you know when they're open because it tells you in the app and also they put this net over the top and yeah the disney cruise navigator app is the place to be for all that information and telling you all the timings and everything that's going on during your cruise we've got a bar up here on the top this looks nice Oh, what a brilliant view looking back across the ship. That pool just down there in this lovely bar area. How nice is this? All the lighting. All them bottles down there at the back. Oh, that looks nice. 
So we've made our way round now into the adult area. You've got to be over 18 to come round in this section. And this is massive round here. And you've also got an adult only pool round here too, which looks lovely. And that's also open tonight with nobody in. I remember last September when we were on the Mardi Gras having one of the pools to ourselves, but we were rocking that much. The water was like going like this. Yeah, we're definitely getting there one night. This is lovely. It's very windy. It is windy. Watch your dress. <laughs> Oh, loads of sun lounges around here. I think that's the thing, of course, Disney is a family cruise line, lots of kids on board. So yeah, if it does get quite loud and noisy, you can just come around here, chill out in the adults only area. So I do really like how they've got that. And also you've got the adults only uh, kind of nightclub area as well, which is on one of the levels somewhere on this huge ship. This is open until 9 p.m. this one, if you fancy a, an evening swim. Oh, it's lovely out there on the deck. Oh, very windswept. <laughs> Oh, it's nice. And then yeah, just in the elevator here, just going to drop this back off at the state room and then we're off for dinner. Oh, it's so magical in here. That's Rapunzel. Every time you come here into the atrium, there's characters and live music. It's lovely. And we're making our way over here to the Royal Palace. Time for our dinner. 8.15. Late sitting. Rule the world. Nice piano there. And here we are. So we've been given our table number, which is 83. Oh, look at this. Hello. Welcome to the Royal Palace. Wow. Hello. This is where we're going to be. Thank you very much. Oh, this is nice. All the chandeliers, all the decor. Look at that big table in the middle. Lovely. Oh, it's very posh in here. Look at the carriage there on the front. That's nice. Open up the menu. Let's have a look what we've got. So yeah, speciality drinks just over there that you can order and just add to your account if you want any of the speciality drinks, appetizers, little soups and salads down here. Farmhouse salad, French onion soup, the main courses. There's a pasta just there, a salmon, crispy roasted duck breast, a lamb just there as well, a roasted steak fillet. And you've got some lighter options just down here as well, slow roasted breast of chicken. I might possibly go for that. And vegetarian options off to the left just there as well, the wild mushroom stuffed pasta and a vegetable broth. Thank you very much. Welcome. Some That's water coming in, it's okay. <laughs> we are, yeah, documenting the experience. I'll be on Facebook, my ex-wife is looking for me. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Very well dressed just there. <laughs> thank you. Nice water. Okay. Very nice in here. Very different experience for us. So just ordered some drinks. We've got two Diet Cokes on the way. And then some breads just here as well. Oh, well, we got our drinks just here. And Charlotte, what have you gone for? Snails. Snails. I don't know what they're going to be like, but I'll give them a go and see what they're like. <laughs> That's something a bit different for me tonight. Gone for the onion soup just here as a snail. <laughs> and I've just gone for the chicken breast just here, the baked potato, and some vegetables. So let's tuck in. Well, the main was very nice. I enjoyed the chicken just there. And time for dessert now. Yeah, here's a look at the dessert menu. Quite a few different options. I think I'm going to go for the strawberry shortcake sundae just down there. Duo chocolate slice sounds good though. You know me, I love a good dessert. Specialty drinks that you can get up there as well. Yeah, they just keep topping up the soft drinks too, which is fantastic. Oh, here we go. Look at that. This looks so nice. It's like strawberry shortcake sundae. Look at that in the top as well. Wow. Mickey with the anchor just there. Right, let's tuck in. Third and final course, dessert. So 
we have just got back from our dinner and as you can see I have got changed because we're going to go and have a walk about the ship and I don't want to walk around in my heels because they hurt my feet <laughs> it's nice to get dressed up though you know what I love that experience there our first dinner the first restaurant at the Royal Palace what a great overall experience that was of course you sit with the same people on each night we're with two other couples and the guy next to me is called Sean and it's spelled the same as me as well how amazing is that uh, but honestly I do love the fact that you sit with other people they're both like big Disney Park fans as well which is awesome chatting about all the Disney parks around the world so that was great uh, and that's the thing you have the same servers and they're going to follow us around the restaurants I mean tomorrow night we're back in there again uh, so yeah and then the next night we'll be going to the next restaurants but uh, I do love the fact you know you kind of meet them people and we know we've got dinner with them for the next four nights uh, as well which is great and then of course you've got the food how was yours? So my starter I did try the snails <laughs> I did give them a go but there was just not for me. <laughs> the way I see it is, we've paid for this stuff, you may as well try it, you know. Exactly, there was just not for me. <laughs> no, that's the thing. I mean, uh, yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of the uh, the soupy. It had a little bit of it, but uh, no, it wasn't the best. And then, of course, went on to the main, which was really nice. Um, the chicken was lovely. I really enjoyed that. Uh, and then, of course, you got the jacket potato just there as well. Baked potato, which was pretty good. And the vegetables there. But yeah, the chicken was good. I had the lamb. The potato dough from was on there were so nice. I would have loved another portion of those. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dessert. Oh, I love a good dessert. Yeah, I went for that uh, lovely uh, like shortbread, and that was so good. Like uh, short shortbread. Yeah, it was like a strawberry cheese. shortbread. Yeah. Like ice cream so it had like strawberry shortbread at the bottom then there was ice cream on top it was very nice yeah it was lovely that was very tasty i like the little disney touch on the top there as well overall i'd say it was a great experience it took about 90 minutes to have our three courses there uh, and of course with the soft drinks they're included Which in the cost great. as well they were always coming around topping them up uh water was coming down as well uh, i thought that was really good like what a fantastic experience and if you want to you can pay extra um, for cocktails a beer or anything like that but uh, that's the thing we didn't pay anything extra because no, we, we didn't have that you know so everything's included in the cost and you got to think for a three course meal like that you'd be talking what 60 70 dollars you, you know paying quite a lot for it yeah yeah so you're certainly getting your money's worth knowing that we're getting five um dinners like that's here on the ship um yeah it's nearly 10 o'clock we're gonna have a bit of a stroll down to the adults only area now this evening come back to the stateroom and then of course wrap up the day one vlog so we're making our way now down to an area known as the district go and check out this and I believe this is like your adult only area just down here and it's a bit of live music oh there we go there's a list of everything that's going on silent dance party club evolution yeah so there's stuff going on late into the night ooh this is nice I said, who's the most popular Disney character? You would write down? Nicky Mouse! Nicky Mouse! So Nicky Mouse would win. And then I have some other options there which we'll try and explore as well. So one person from each team, come on up, grab a piece of paper and a pencil, and we'll get started. So, one so we're just down here playing a little Disney game now in the adult only area. This is good fun, here she is. <laughs> you all interactive games here, you put your team name down, write the answer on here, then you go and give it up at the top. And they're totaling up and we'll see if we win anything. <laughs> nice and here. Oh, that was really good down there in the adult area. And that also transforms into the nightclub down there too. And yeah, it was really good fun that, wasn't it? Oh, I really enjoyed that. Everyone was having such a laugh. So we started off by playing the little game show, which was good, uh, getting all the different answers. And then it was like a bit of a Mr. and Mrs. show, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like answering questions about your other half. And it was really good fun. Yeah, so they picked like three couples up, got them on the stage, some really good laughs. And uh, yeah, I was expecting, when you be on a Disney ship, everything would be family friendly, but... Uh, he was like, yeah. sorry, Mickey. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it wasn't uh, very PG in there. It's he good. He was great, the person who was presented. Oh, yeah, fantastic. And that's the thing uh, on a cruise like this. You know, there really is something for everyone, which is fantastic. But yeah, it's approaching midnight. So we're going to make our way back to the stateroom. Really enjoyed it in there. And I'll tell you what, what a fantastic first day we've had here 
on the Disney Dream. And yeah, this is it at night now. This is the perfect time actually to come and take your nice photos around here um, and just appreciate the grandeur of this ship because yeah, there's hardly anyone around now. Most of the kids have gone to bed and yeah, you can just take some really nice photos. And talking of going to bed, that's where we're going now. So we'll see you back at the stateroom and we'll wrap up the vlog. Oh, look at this. Mickey on the staircase. Love all these details. Now look at all this around the side too. And that's the thing, there's so much more to discover. In fact, we are only just getting started with our first Disney cruise adventure. Full of little quirky details, this ship. Like, look at this. It's Mickey's hand <laughs> and it's moving there on the elevator. Love the little details like that. Just to finish this ship's great. <laughs> all the music as well. <laughs> Love it. Back to the state room we go. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's them little touches, I love it. And here we are then, back in the stateroom after an awesome first day, stepping onto the beautiful Disney Dream. How have you found it today? I have enjoyed it so much, and there is still so much for us to discover. There is, like, we've got loads to explore. In tomorrow's vlog, we're gonna have a good look around the ship, see all of the different areas. But the first thing I have noticed is how easy it is to navigate. Uh, we've been finding our stateroom nice and easy when we've been popping back, haven't we? Yeah, which is really good. That's always the hardest part, trying to focus where you are actually staying and we've got it down to a T. Yeah, it's pretty easy to navigate this ship, which is fantastic. I've got to say, it's beautifully designed. I love all the decor and theming around. Um, what we've seen so far has been wonderful. And like Charlotte said, we are literally only just getting started. What I love about any sort of cruise is on the first day, you're just straight into it. You know, you're having your food, your entertainment. We've already seen a fantastic show. Uh, the Golden Mickey, that was brilliant tonight. I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that so much. I can't wait to see the other stage shows that they've got. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, and then along with that, the adult area tonight, that was great. We had a really nice three course dinner as well. And uh, overall, it's been a great start. I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the service and also our stateroom just here, which I think is perfect. Uh, now, of course, tomorrow is a full day at sea and it's a Marvel day tomorrow. So we've got like all sorts of Marvel entertainment and characters. Uh, we're going back to the same restaurant, aren't we, tomorrow night though? We are, but it is a different menu, so that's good. Like Marvel inspired. Um, yeah, I did enjoy dinner. I thought that that was fantastic. I think it would have been nice to have maybe had some character interactions in there. Yeah. Um, you know, but that was really good still. Uh, it was quite a classy kind of feel in there, uh, which I thought was brilliant. Um, but there we go. We're just getting started. Come and join us um, for day number two here on our first ever Disney cruise. And we cannot wait to take you all along for the adventure. Uh, thank you very much for watching and, and have, have your, your own adventures. adventures. Bye.